Hi, I'm Lisa Michelle, and I'm an entrepreneur and online business coach. And I like creating videos that can help you make money online with digital products. And one of the questions that I get a lot is, how do you find winning keywords or winning niches for Amazon KDP? You know, how do I find a book idea that I know people are looking for and that does not have too much competition? So in this video, I want to show you how you can use a tool called Helium 10 that's been a complete game changer um, and I think it could help you as well so let's just go ahead and jump right in as you can see I'm on the Amazon homepage and what I would normally do if I'm thinking about creating a book is to have a general idea of what I want to create so I'm, I'm gonna put in um, gratitude journal all right so I haven't done this search I'm just gonna do it now and then just so you can see how the tool works so you can see that helium 10 has given me you know, additional words to make this more of a long tail keyword. So I've got gratitude journal for women, 2023 for kids, a men, so on. And as you can see, this is um, an X-ray Chrome extension. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on gratitude journal for women and then just see what that pulls up. All right. So I want to find out whether or not this is something that I can uh, do well in this area. Can I compete with the interiors? Can I compete with the covers? Because as you know, if you're trying to have your book noticed, you want to make sure that your cover can compete with the best-selling books that are already out there. So I'm looking at it, and I think it's, let's say it's a doable um, keyword. Keeping in mind right now, it's saying that there are about or over 10,000 results in this category. So I'm going to click on this Chrome extension here, and then click on X-Ray. And then it'll take me into this um, other dashboard. So as you can see with that keyword, it brings up about 2,255 uh, books. It shows you the average uh, revenue or the total revenue for all of the books for the past 30 days, um, the average revenue and the average price of the book, the average BSR, which is uh, bestseller rank. So if you are selling something on Amazon, the BSR um, gives you an indication of how that item is selling. So if the closest this number is to zero, the more uh, units that product is actually selling. So if this number were 2 million, this is not a keyword that I would want to target. All right, and it's got about 3,800 uh, average reviews. So what I want to do first is sort this, this, uh, this chart here by the number of sales per month. So I'm just going to click on that. And then now I've got from highest to lowest sales. And you can hover over the name to see the whole title of the book. Um, let's see. I think my, my internet is just really slow, so it's not, hasn't caught up. But I'm just going to look and see, um, based on the sales here, which one I might want to look at to get more information in terms of keywords. All right. So I've got self love workbook for women, uh, prayer journal for women. I think this is 52 weeks here. Um, good days start with gratitude. And these are making about 2,600 or selling about 2,600 units uh, every month or this past 30 days. So for the ones that I want to get more information on, I'm just going to click this uh, box here. So I'm going to click the box for those two. Um, let's see if I can, let's try to see if I could expand this box, but okay, that's my computer is acting up. All right, so I'm just going to select my self-love workbook, prayer journal. I've got this one and I'll pick one more here. I don't want to pick the ones where I see the SP because those are, um, those, they have ads on them. So after you click the ones that you want to get more information on, then you can click on run Cerebro and that'll take us into a different dashboard. And as you can see in a minute, so it's pulling up all of these ASINs, all these numbers, the unique identifiers that Amazon has assigned these books. And it's giving me information on these four. And I'll go back up to this in a second. But as you can see, for all these books, it's they, they all are linked with 20,000 keywords in total, which is a lot. Um, and then in terms of frequency, these are the keywords that come up most frequently out of the 20,000. So what I want to do is narrow it down because 20,000 is just too many to deal with. 
So the way I'm going to narrow that down is to come up here and then put in values and some of the filters. So what I'm going to focus on is search volume and competing products. So for search volume, let's just say I want to make sure that um, I get keywords for books that get at least 500 searches a month. And then for competing products, let's say I don't want to get uh, keywords for books where there's more than um, 1200 books competing all right and then I'll apply the filter and then you'll see it'll bring us down from 20,145 to 1199 which is it's still a lot but it's more more digestible and you can always adjust these numbers and say okay we'll make it um, books that have at least 700 searches a month okay so now that I'm here I'm going to sort it by the Cerebro IQ score so Helium 10 assigns books or products an IQ score. And the way they calculate it is they look to see what is the search volume and what is the competition. So if the number is high, that gives you a good indication that there's a high search volume and lower competition. So the higher this cerebral IQ score, the better. All right, so for now, I'm just going to slide this over so I can see the columns that I really need to see. And as you can see, there's keyword um, sales. And if you hover over all these, it'll tell you what each column means. So it's the estimated number of monthly sales uh, attributed to each of these keywords. All right, so let's slide this over. You can see the whole title. And I can just go through to get different keyword ideas, all associated with those four books that I selected previously. And you can look and tell some of them will be um, you know, trademark books. Um, so you definitely want to either delete those or just ignore them. And then you want to go through and then the select the ones that you think are most relevant. And because it's so many, uh, I think I am going to go ahead and narrow it down a little bit more and say the ones that have at least 700 search, search volume, um, maybe with 1000 competing products and just see where that takes us. Okay, so it brings us to 856. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it sorted by the IQ score, and let's just see what we what we have over here. It's a little bit better. Um, right, these all look like they may be trademarked. This is how you heal. Okay, let's go on to the next page. Let me stretch this out. And some of these may not, but yeah, they look to me like they may be, those may be trademarks. So I'm just going to look for more generic um, phrases. Okay. What is this? Okay. Okay. The five minute journal. Um, not sure if that's copyrighted or trademark, but I'll select that one. Let's see what else. But you can see, I mean, depending on what you know keyword you start with, this is a great way to really narrow down the keywords that'll be most helpful. And I'll show you why in one second. Just hold on one minute. I'm going to show you something that makes this tool really manifestation journal that makes this tool priceless. It's gonna be one second. I'm gonna to try to find three. Let me try try to find one more. Hmm. Um. Okay. Check one more page. Oops. Okay. fitness journal okay that's fine I'll leave it at that I'll leave it at that but like I said you can always filter it down more um, you can say give me books that have no more than 800 competing products or 850 competing products and you get even less keywords that it may be even more focused but the reason why this tool is so helpful for me is it gives you a lot of information here the keyword sales associated with the keyword 
that IQ score that tells you, okay, there's a lot of search and not so much competition, but it gives you the actual search volume. So for this book, the fitness journal, or just that phrase, fitness journal, there are 5,971 searches a month, but there's only, I guess, a little over a thousand um, products that are competing for that. Um, mini habits for teens, 842 monthly searches, only 145 competing products. I would never have thought of mini habits for teens as a book idea. So even though I put in gratitude journal to begin with, when you go through this list, you will see other things that may interest you. Um, celebrate recovery Bible. I would have never thought of there being a, a Bible that's celebrating recovery. So it's a great tool to use, even if you're just using it for that, to get keyword ideas. All right. So this is Cerebro. All right. You can add these to your list. You can create a list, create a new folder, or you can put it into an existing folder if you want to. And then you have them. You can keep going with other keywords, keep looking and keep growing your lists. All right. So now the next tool I want to show you is called Magnet. Now with Magnet, I can put in a keyword like I just did, gratitude journal and it'll start to populate again and I'll do this one with uh, gratitude journal for kids and get the keywords we want a new search and this is going to give us high volume search terms that are related to gratitude journal for kids so again I'm going to slide this over so I can see all of the I can't slide this one over to see all the relevant columns. So that's fine. And I'm going to sort it again by IQ score because I want to make sure that I get one that has a high score. It's the same as Cerebro. Okay. So this will give me other keywords that I could use if I want to, if I want to create a book and I knew the general keyword, but I didn't have an ASIN. I would just put the keyword in the way that I did. And it'll give me other related keywords that have, good search volume okay so the first one the cerebro if you've got an ASIN if you have a book already you can put that information into cerebro and it'll give you other keywords with magnet you put in a keyword and it'll give you other keywords all right so I'm just gonna go down this list and I didn't filter it so I've got about 1900 keywords which is fine I'm, I'm not gonna filter this one like I did the last one let's just see what we can find um, Life is Colorful Coloring Planner. I mean, that was 2019, but still, that's something I would have not thought of. The Five Minute Journal, um, Yoga Cards for Kids, and this has got 11,000 searches and come on, like over 660 competing products. I mean, that's that's great. This other one, Five Minute Journal, five is spelled out. Um, let's see, uh, Habit Tracker. Just the phrase habit tracker has got about 7,900 in search volume and a little over a thousand in competing products. Gratitude journal daily. So these are all keywords that you can use as, um, you know, put in your, in your uh, title and your description and in your keywords in your Amazon KDP listing. So, you know, if it's related to what you're doing, these are great keywords to put in your listing. So that you know that you're going to get a lot of traffic and there's not a lot of competition. Um, homeschool kindergarten, five minute journal for teen girls, gratitude journal Catholic. Now this one gratitude journal Catholic has what? 48 searches and 25. Okay. So it's not a lot, but it's an idea, right? Gratitude journal Catholic. So as you can see, all right, Cerebro magnet, both great if we're looking for high search, low competition keywords. One other tool that I want to show you is called uh, Black Box. This is not just for books. You can use it for books, but if you're selling other types of products and you just kind of want a good idea of something you can sell that's got, you know, high volume, high search volume, you can put in the category here. I'm going to put in books. Um, you can put in the comp competition range. Uh, of course, I want low competition. 
I want to sell the product for between zero and thirty dollars with a monthly revenue of between we'll say one and ten thousand dollars. And it'll give you just ideas, not in one particular niche, it's just books, it's just the criteria that I put in there. And you can use this tool also to get ideas. So if you have no idea, let's say I didn't know I want to do something related to a gratitude journal, but I just know that I want to create a book. This gives you all different types of books across all different types of niches. So the first one is your favorite idol coloring book. And it's got about 716 monthly sales. Um, and if you wanted to get information on the exact number of, of searches and the number of competition you have, all you have to do is copy this ace in here and then go right back up to Cerebro the way we did the first search. Um, nursing med surge blank template. Mindfulness meditation coloring book for adults. Creepy doll coloring book, horror and scary baby dolls. Um, 149 monthly sales on that one codependency recovery workbook so you can just scroll down and it just goes on and on with different ideas um, things that you may have never heard of okay so that is um, black box but yeah um, helium 10 is, is a game changer if you really just need a tool to help you with your keyword research if you need assistance, you know, creating your book interiors, creating your covers, growing your Amazon AD, AD, KDP business, um, feel free to look in the description. I will leave a link where you can join my group coaching program. I'm happy to help you with that. Also, if you got anything out of this video and you like it, please like the video, share it with anyone else who you think may be struggling in this area and consider subscribing. And if you want a full tutorial on Helium 10, because I only covered a few of the tools in the dashboard, there's a lot going on here. And I only covered three. So if you'd like to see a full tutorial, um, if I get enough interest for it, I'd be happy to do a full tutorial. Just let me know in the description, I mean, in the comments below. All right, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace.